I'm first going to teach you the shortcut method for metric conversions. In the center of our basic number line that we have going across here is your basic unit. Basic units may be measured in grams for weight, in liters for volume, and in meters for length. As you move to the left of your basic unit, you will see that we are getting larger. So you need 10 meters in order to make a decameter. You need 100 meters to make a hectometer. And you need 1,000 meters, that's your basic unit, to make a kilometer or kilometer. Okay? When you move to the right, your units are getting smaller. So your units are going to be deci, centi, and milli. You only need a tenth of a meter in order to get a decimeter. Um, you would need 1,000 millimeters to get one meter. And you'll be looking at this on meter sticks to help you see these conversions as well. In order to do conversions, one of the most important things you're going to need to know is the order of this conversion chart. So you're going to need to know that the largest would be kilo, then comes hecto, deca, then your basic unit, then deci, then centi, and then milli. So I'm going to give you one way to remember this. Sometimes making a sentence where each of the words first letter um, in that sentence help you remember the order for something. So we're going to use the, the sentence, King Henry drinks ucky dark chocolate milk. Take a minute to write that down. Again, that was King Henry drinks Aki Dark Chocolate Milk. You can see that the first letter corresponds with the metric unit. So K in King for Kilo, H in Henry for Hecto, D in Deca and Drinks, U for Basic Unit, D in Dark for Deci, C for Centi, and M for Milli here. Now, I've put a little note at the top of this conversion chart. It's pretty simple to do simple conversions. Um, it says right here, which I'm starring now, to convert to a smaller unit, you're going to move your decimal point to the right or multiply. So if I'm at the basic unit of grams and I'm moving to the right on the chart, I'm going to move my decimal point to the right. This is basically multiplying the unit. If I want to convert to a larger unit, I'm going to move my decimal point to the left, or I'm going to be basically dividing as I move that decimal point. So again, if I'm moving left on the chart from grams all the way up to kilo, I'm going to be moving left on the chart, so my decimal point moves left. And you're going to move your decimal point the number of spaces. So let's do this first practice one down here. We have seven meters, so we're at our basic unit, and I need to go to centimeters. So I'm going to be going one spot, two spots. And so my decimal point in seven is kind of imaginary, but it's right after the seven here, because this would be like saying seven point oh 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 oh. I could have a whole bunch of zeros here. I'm going to move that decimal point two spaces. So it's right here behind the seven. I'm going to move it behind a zero and then behind another zero, which means that now my number is 700. My decimal point ended up back here. Okay, let's try another one. If I'm at 220 centimeters, so I'm at this unit here, and I need to move to decimeters. So now, this time, I'm going to move from centi over to deci instead. So I need to move my decimal point just one spot to the left. Again, the imaginary decimal point is right here after the zero, and I'm going to move my decimal point one spot. So now that means I have 22.0 decimeters. And you don't have to write the point zero, you can just leave it as 22. If we try another one, here we are at 12 kilometers. So now I'm here at kilo, and I need to go to meters. So I'm going to go one spot, two spots, three spots. Again, I'm moving to the right, which is multiplying it, so making the number larger, and I'm doing 
it three spots. One, two, three. So here's my imaginary decimal point. I'm going to put some imaginary zeros here. I'm going to move it one, two, three spots, which means that I have 12,000 meters. Go ahead and try and practice some of these on your own. Pause the video and see if you get them right, and then try any other ones that you might want to create and practice for yourself as well. Don't forget about the sentence to help you remember the um, order of the metrics. And here are the answers for the remaining questions on this page. Check and see how you did.